Welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about trash products because they're in my trash. They might be trash, they might not be trash, but all of them are in my trash right now. I've been hanging on to all of my trash beauty products, makeup products, skincare, hair for the last seven months. I'm gonna be walking you through the products that I repurchased or the products that I bid farewell to. Sayonara, never purchasing you again. I love product empties, you know, because it's a true testament, a testimony, if you will, a testimonial of products that you know are good products because you finished the whole freaking thing. So that's what we're doing today. Let me grab my bucket of trash here. I tried to organize it a bit, you know, because sometimes these videos, they can take 80 years and we don't need to spend 80 years talking about trash. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for being patient with me. I had to take a little bit of time to heal and process all of that it doesn't matter now because listen she's back and she's brand new just kidding same old me <laughs> all right i want to talk about some skincare some skincare you already know the tea tatcha essence this bottle will last you six seven months essence is not a product you have to have in your skincare routine it is definitely a luxury item but your skincare does penetrate deeper when your skin is a little bit moist and that is what i use this essence for i have extremely dry extremely sensitive skin so the first thing i do as soon as i wash my face and kind of pat it dry is rehydrate with the tatcha essence i've tried other ones and i always come back to this girl always I have some products from Naturium that, listen, they're too good. Now that I have finally moved forward from my hormonal acne phase, you know, really worked hard on that for a little bit, I've just been left with a lot of hyperpigmentation, dark spots. I've always had very uneven skin tone, and I've added both of these products into my routine. You only need one or the other. This is the Azelaic Acid Emulsion 10%, and this is the Azelaic Topical Acid 10%. This one is a cream formula. This one is a serum. I do like the cream better. I repurchased the cream and it is in my every morning skincare routine. This will help with hyperpigmentation, dark spots. It's a brightening product and I love the serum too. What I love about serums is you can keep applying several serums and it feels like you've put nothing on your face. I have to be careful with this because if it comes down on my neck at all, my neck gets real itchy and I have very sensitive skin. So because of that, I've decided to skip this one, but get this one. Beautiful product nonetheless. Azelaic Acid was the first product within days I saw massive improvements of the redness on my cheeks right away. I was stunned, spooked, if you will. This is a product that, um, you know, took my heart, ripped it out, stomped on it, chopped it up into about 100 pieces, and then put it, put my heart down at garbage disposal. You know what I mean? This is the Crave Beauty, the Beat Shield. This is a sunscreen. It claims to be, I think, 50 SPF. They got a little bit of heat because it came out. They did some independent studies. It did not meet that. And instead of correcting the product and relaunching it, they have decided to pull this product off the shelves forever, which is heartbreaking. It's truly heartbreaking. This was the first mineral sunscreen that I have absolutely, like you guys, I fell in love with her. And she betrayed me. Thank you. A few more products from Naturium. This is the Intense Overnight Sleeping Cream. I talked about this in my favorites video. I've gone through two of these now. I did repurchase it. It is beautiful. What I will do, speaking of my nighttime routine, I go in with my moisturizer. I add a few drops of squalene oil. My psoriasis, my dry psoriasis plaques on my forehead, they love squalene oil. But I've been going moisturizer, squalene oil, and then a thick moisturizer like this sleeping cream. <sighs> I wake up refreshed. It's like the first time I wake up and my skin still feels moisturized. So very grateful for that. It has a very whipping cream texture, glides, melts into the skin. It's beautiful. Same thing with this plant ceramide rich moisture cream. This one's a little bit lighter than the sleeping cream. I think you could definitely get away with one or the other. Side note, every single thing in this video is purchased myself. So there's no bias here. Beautiful moisturizer. It wouldn't be an empties video without me talking about the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. This was the first skincare product that I implemented years ago and it changed my life and I will never, I'm not gonna say never, but it'll be very hard for me to ever try a different vitamin C serum. They have a lot of R&D behind this product. I believe they even have a patent on their formula. It's beautiful. SkinCeuticals rocks my freaking world, okay? Rocks it, takes my world and rocks it. 
This is my favorite retinol. I think I have, yeah, I've gone through two of these. Retinol and vitamin C, two skincare products I'll never live without. Obviously sunscreen, but that's a given. So this is the Skin Medica Retinol Complex 1.0. This is the first retinol that I have found that does not irritate my very dry, very sensitive skin. I did have to go back down to 0.5. So these are both 1.0s. I was killing it on the 1.0, waking up refreshed, no dry skin, but something with the environment lately, you guys, I don't have any tea, but something's going on and my psoriasis is freaking the heck of out. So I went back down because I have a lot of psoriasis on my forehead right here and it was just too sensitive. So instead of trying to like put 0.5 here and 1.0 here, I went down to 0.05. Best retinol. Best retinol. I'll tell you that. This is the Youth to the People Aptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. I spray this on my face. If I feel like my skin's getting too dry during my skincare routine, I will spray this on before I put on my next product. So you know, you get the penetration. You can definitely just spray water on your face, but this is a very, very light mist that's refreshing. Has hyaluronic acid in it, that's nice. Ashwagandha, don't know what that does for the skin, but I love it and I did repurchase it. You guys, listen. Another product from Crave. <sighs> This is the Great Barrier Relief. I heard everyone and their mother talk about this, so I had a lot of expectations for it. I wouldn't say that it let me down, but I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm blown out of the water. And then this product from Polish Choice came out. It's the Omega Plus Complex Serum, and I love this one. This one, listen, I don't have any beef with this one, okay? We don't have any beef, but this one, I don't know. It's a little more creamy. This is an empty. I've gone through both of these. I ended up repurchasing this one. It helps repair your moisture barrier, which as you know, my moisture barrier, probably not doing very well. This product, I debated about talking about this product because I love Super Goop. I use so many of Super Goop's products. This is the Super Gloop, Super Gloop? This is the Super Goop Glow Screen. My allergies got really bad this year, which means my eyeballs are horrendous, okay? I have put on so many sunscreens onto my face over the last couple of months that leave my eyes bleeding blood, okay? Blood will come out of my eyeballs and down my face because my eyes hurt so freaking much from these sunscreens. So this is one of those that did it. If you are looking for a very glowy, dewy, beautiful sunscreen, this one has a little bit of a tint to it. I did not finish this product beautiful product, but my sensitive eyeballs could not handle this. So I will be finishing this, but I will be finishing it on my body. Maybe my chest, my decollete. Okay, this is spooky because I'm not a hand cream kind of gal, but like, look at this, finished. Look at this, almost finished. Let me unroll her. I have a few more uses out of this. This is a daytime hand cream for me. It is from Necessaire, the hand cream. I don't find that it's extremely hydrating, but once again, that could just be me and my dry Sahara Desert skin. But it is a nice daytime moisturizer because it does sink in so quickly. I'll keep it in my purse, use it here and there. This is the most richest, the L'Occitane, L'Occitane. This is the Very Dry Skin Intense Hand Balm. And intense this is, and I loved this. I've repurchased it. I use this to the bare bone. It is so thick. It is so moisturizing. The first thing I do when I get out of the shower and I lay down in bed to go to night is I put on some hand cream. I put on some lips and then I put on some hand cream. If you do not like very thick hand creams, oily hand creams. Like if I touch my phone and I wake up in the morning, there's oil residue on my phone. That's how hydrating this hand cream is. And if that's not your vibe, you won't like this. Also, it does smell like baby wipes. So it's like the last thing I do, I put on my hands, turn off the light and go to bed, wake up, rejuvenate it. It's a beautiful product. Oh, here's another CE for Rolex. Can't live without her. Really can't. Some lip products that I finished up. The Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Die Hard Fan, okay? Take me to a deserted island, I will take this with me. I've noticed it's so hit or miss. People either love it or they hate it. It's so thick and it's so moisturizing and it makes your lips so shiny and glossy and it's a little bit goopy and I love it. I have like five backups of this. I have one in my purse, in my gym bag. I have one with me at all times. My coat pocket, my dog walking satchel. I love this. That's like my daytime. I'm out and about. My lips feel dry underneath my mask. Let me put my lip butter balm on. For nighttime, I had these two products. This is the Tatcha Lip Mask. Listen, I strongly didn't like this. It's finished, finished. And Stefan finished it for me, love that guy. I love Tatcha, okay? But this product didn't do it for me. It's like a jelly texture. It kind of just sits right on top of your lips. And for me, I felt that it dried out my lips more than it hydrated my lips. So I didn't like it anymore. I kind of just like left it on the counter and said, Stefan, and 
enjoy. And he finished the whole thing, so I think Stefan enjoyed it. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Vanilla. Vanilla is the best scent by far. If you're gonna try this product, everyone raves about it. A lot of people love it. It's a beautiful product, so hydrating. I put this on, I put on my lippy, this, and then I put on my hand cream and I go to sleep. And that's like my nighttime routine once I get into bed. I love this product. I already have a backup, but oddly enough, I've been using Aquaphor on my lips every night. So I have a backup, but I'm not using my backup because I'm just using Aquaphor. A whole lot cheaper and it's a beautiful product. I love squalene oil, you guys. Like I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. And then you saw the one from Naturium. I finished that one and I repurchased the Naturium. One, I was using the ordinary 100% plant derived squalene oil. I find that the Naturium one is a little bit more hydrating, a little thicker than this bad boy. So I did purchase the Naturium, but this was also a lovely product. Don't get me wrong. Mixing a body moisturizer with squalene oil has completely changed my life. So before I even step out of the shower, I'll kind of towel dry off a little bit, and then I will mix a pump of my squalene oil with the Cetaphil, Cetaphil, either or. Very dry, sensitive skin moisturizing cream. If you are looking for a very moisturizing product, together dream team so i take one pump of my squalene oil i did repurchase this i love the one from biosance a scoop of this mix them together apply it on your body put some pjs on Woo! delicious but i had some beef we're beefing with this guy so this is from the same company biosance the squalene plus antioxidant cleansing oil i love to double cleanse my nighttime routine where i double cleanse it's the highlight of my whole day so i go in with an oil cleanser or a balm or a cream. <sighs> And you know how I was telling you my sensitive eyeballs, like can't handle anything right now? This guy burns my eyeballs. Not to the excessive level of bleeding, but it's tough, you guys. It's a toughie. This is one of the only products in this little bucket of stuff I didn't finish. I could not finish this because it was killing, killing my eyes. There's like about a quarter of a pinch left of this. I think I'm gonna pass it on to my friend if she wants it. I also didn't find it to be the most amazing product. I feel like I still had a lot of residue around my eyeballs with this so not my favorite not my least favorite killed my eyeballs you guys know how much i love olaplex it took me a long time to finish these two bottles of olaplex it is the number four and five the oh my apologies two number fives and one number four if you go through more shampoo than conditioner round of applause to you teach me your secrets teach me your ways i'm like double on the conditioner i love olaplex products i used to use olaplex every time i washed my hair but now i wash my hair about three to four times a week my hair was drying out. I've learned I just gotta wash it more. Stop using dry shampoos. Hydrate. See, that's where the misconception was for me. I thought if I was washing my hair less, then more oils from my scalp would come out. But what that resulted in was because I wasn't washing my hair, kept putting dry shampoo in it, brushing it out. My hair was too dried out and brittle, hence the haircut. I don't think we've talked since I got a haircut, but how to cut it off. This wasn't looking good. You know what I mean? I love Olaplex. I will be a lifelong supporter of Olaplex but now I use it every third shower. And on the other two showers, I use some other products like the Verb Shampoo and Conditioner, the Ghost one. <gasps> You guys, phenomenal. It's too good. Two products from Briogeo, another beautiful brand. Their deep hydration mask, taking it to my grave, okay? This is the Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Shampoo. I used about half of both of these and then I let Stefan take the rest of them. The smell is beautiful. And when I could smell it in Stefan's hair, I'd be like, come to me. You smell like bananas and coconut. So I love the scent. It's sulfate free, so it doesn't lather enough for me, especially with how much buildup I get in my hair because of products like my dry texturizing spray. It didn't end up being my favorite. Stefan loved it. Stefan finished these. You know, I like that if there's a product I don't love, Stefan will take it over. This is the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Undone Texture Hairspray. Life-changing product. It never feels like you have anything in your hair. It is so lightweight, but it holds your hair so amazing to the point where I'll curl my hair, I'll pop this in it, I hold my hair up and I spray from the bottom, sleep on it, put in a bun when I'm sleeping, wake up, hair still curled the next day. Obsessed. Some other hair care products I'll run through so fast because we've been talking about a lot here. IGK 1800 Hold Me. No crunch, flexible hold hairspray. This also has a heat protectant in it. I liked it. 
I don't have anything bad to say about it. It was a little sticky. I could always feel it in my hair a little bit. I did not repurchase it. I just purchased a heat protectant instead. And then I finished off with my Paul Mitchell one. The Way Super Dry Shampoo. I have had this bottle for far too long. It took me a long, long, long time to finish this. It was my very last dry shampoo I had to get through. I used to love this product. If you have extremely oily hair, you need a quick refresh. Beautiful product. I also love the smell of it. It makes your hair smell freshly cleaned again. But I no longer use dry shampoo, so I did not repurchase her. The Honey Paw, a vagina wash. You guys, I posted a swimsuit video in, what, February? And I got flagged for vulgarity. And I'm assuming it's because I talked about a lot in that video. So now I gotta be a little cautious. You know what I mean? Beautiful product. I did not repurchase this. Another company came out with a feminine wash and that's the one I've been using. Just an FYI, every single gynecologist I know, I don't know a lot, but I follow a lot on TikTok. <laughs> they do not recommend feminine washes. I am not a gynecologist. So don't listen to me when I tell you how much I love this product, but I do love this product. It's not to go inside, just around, just around the bits and the bobs, the bits, the bobs never inside the bits and the bobs. Love it. I love Seriously, life changing. I love them. Let's talk about some makeup very quickly. You guys, me and Glossier, we have beef because this product is so freaking good. This is the Glossier Brow Flick. I cannot live. Are these all in brown? Brown, brown, brown. I love this product. I have tried its competitors. I've tried the Urban Decay one, the one from e.l.f., the one from NYX. Nothing competes with this. But I'll be honest, like we're head to head right now. And that's because the product dries out so fast. It's either the product dries out so fast or there's not a lot of product in here. And I go through this like I go through toilet paper. And I can't keep doing that. So if we could double up on the size, I would really appreciate that Glossier. And then maybe, maybe our battle will end. Thank you. I found another one. See, do you see what I'm saying? What shade are you? Brown. Four. Four. We're not in a good place. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Oat. I can't live without this product. This and the Rare Beauty Concealer are the only concealers that I, that go near my eyeballs. First of all, my sensitive eyeballs. This does not hurt my eyeballs. And second of all, it is the most full coverage concealer I've ever found. So I just put a little bit right here, let it sit for a few minutes, and then I will dab it out with my ring fingers. It's beautiful. Such a beautiful product. Worth the price point. And I did repurchase this. Some mascaras. This is the Marc Jacobs Mascara Primer. Head over heels in love with this. It's phenomenal. Thank you. I did repurchase it. I have nothing bad to say about this. I love it. You apply it before you apply your mascara. And it really does so much, I promise. Like you use less mascara because you use a layer of this. So beautiful. This is the Tom Ford Man Eater Mascara. No, e Man Eater <laughs> Emotion Proof. The big chunky wand. I bought this because I remember Tati Westbrook. We miss you. Tati loved this mascara for so long. That's what convinced me to buy it. I did not repurchase it, but I loved the mascara and I think that I would. But the duo that has my heart are these two cuties right here. So this is the Monsieur Big by Lancome. It is such a bomb mascara if you love mascara. And I love mascara. Like this mascara is not for the faint of the heart. This mascara is gonna give you length, depth, Thickness. If you like chunky mascara, hate to say it, hate to say chunky, cause it's not chunky, but it's just beautiful. You know what I mean? It's just one of those mascaras that holds my heart. And they have like a double pack of it on Sephora. It's like a bigger bang for your buck. Highly recommend it. One for you, one for yourself later. One for you, one for your best friend. One for you, one for your mom. Whoever it could be. Personally, I kept both for me. Two face products that you guys have seen over and over and over again. This is the Elastin Skincare Hydrotint Pro Mineral Sunscreen SPF 36. The best, and I mean the best, mineral sunscreen, tinted mineral sunscreen on the planet to ever exist. This is it. I love it. It provides really good coverage, keeps your skin so hydrated, dewy. If you don't like that, you're not gonna like either of these. So I love this product. If I'm going for a no makeup day, maybe I'll put some brows on. I just go in with this sunscreen, put some brows on, a little bit of mascara, call it a day. I love this. You know what? I know there's no sun when I'm put to rest. I would still like this on my skin, thank you. The Biddable Blur CC Cream from Thrive Cosmetics. This is in the shade Medium Beige, which was a little bit too dark for me. I had to mix this with light medium, but a really good match when I'm like freshly, and I mean freshly self-tanned. I love Thrive Cosmetics CC Cream. It is full, full, full coverage. Super, super dewy, you know? If you don't vibe with that, you're not gonna vibe with this. But I love this. I think my dry skin girls will absolutely head over heels. 
love it. Another product that I will apply if I'm going for a very light makeup day. And last, but certainly not least, I can't not talk about deodorant for the pits. We talked about the bits, let's talk about the pits. I've been using aluminum free deodorant for, it's been years. It's been a long, long, long time. I've tried a lot of aluminum free deodorants. I love native deodorant for the convenience of it. It's at Target, it's in a stick form. You just, hey, you don't have a lot of time, put this, boom. Boom, bits and pits. They're taken care of. This is the Sarah's Day Pity Party in collaboration with LeBang Body. This deodorant is phenomenal. I've gone through two of them. I did repurchase it. I purchased it in the vanilla scent, not the vanilla. It's a different scent. It's in a cream bottle. You guys, the scent, I can't do it. This scent, it's so good. The other scent, it's so sweet, but I'm very sensitive to sweet stuff, like candles that smell like cookies and cake. It's a no for me. This is a putty deodorant, so it's definitely weird to use at first. You scoop a little bit out, you rub it in between your fingers, you apply it on your armpits. It's beautiful, I'm telling you. It is the best aluminum free deodorant I've ever used. So I'm still using it, and once I'm done with the cream bottle, I will switch back to this scent, because this scent, hot fire. All right, you guys, listen, after that roller coaster of emotions, I'm exhausted. That completes my entire empties video. I'm sure I'll do this again in another six, seven months. I'll just start collecting my trash all over again, you know? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry to take you on such an emotional roller coaster, but hey, if you're still here, we've made it through. We've made it through. And not to be dramatic, but there is a storm going on outside. So thank you for sitting through a video with a mediocre lighting. The sun just didn't want to come out today. She must be upset. Or maybe, you know what? I think the sun and the clouds, they're beefing. All right, I love you guys so much. And until next time, I will see you next time.